Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. You mean to tell me that these blue collar boys are starting to find out that us bougie women are worth it? No, no idea where you've heard that or who lied to you, but no. Some women are just better at dating than others. That's because they accept it that it is somewhat a form of playing a game and they just play it really well. All you need to do is get it right at the beginning. When women don't care, men care the most. So if it's only at the beginning talking stages and you can tell that you're more invested and you care more, then I would honestly just forget about that relationship and leave because it will most likely not be successful. Women crave the emotional affection and men get excited by the chase. So if he likes you more than you like him, he's always going to be fulfilled by the chase and you're always going to be fulfilled by receiving that affection you crave. And I swear the most successful long-term relationships play by this. Yeah, but at the same time, your word means nothing. Yes, we enjoy the chase at the beginning, but if I need to chase you 10 years later while we are still in a relationship, you can forget about our relationships 9 years earlier. Not only that you don't have that special device to tell you who's more invested in that that relationship but even if you did that is not what it's keeping your relationship okay guys so i'm making this on my spam account because i talk to you guys like face to face more um but like tell me in the comments like i want every single woman to comment and tell me if you agree with this what i want to literally have a family by the time i'm like 25 like i want to be married with kids yeah, I don't see that happening. Every woman that follow her did left a comment. OMG girl, I love your hair. And why I said I don't see that happening for her? Because that's not what she's looking for. She's looking for content. That didn't work because of course what she got was OMG I love your hair. So some other content followed five minutes later. Guys, I've decided I hate talking to men. I hate dating nowadays because I've been single for a while now, right guys? And... I have recently, like, hopped back on to, like, maybe talking to somebody new because I, like, didn't talk to anyone for a hot minute. And it is so stressful. Like, constantly, like, oh, I don't know if he wants to talk to me. I don't know if he wants me to call him. Like, I'm so sick of it. Like, I just want a man who is obsessed with me, I think. Like, maybe that's what I need. But, like, it is so, like, stressful and, like, you have to think about so many things and I just don't like it. It's not fun at all. Like, am I the only girl he's talking to? No. Is he the only guy I'm talking to? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's true because you said at the beginning of your video you hate talking to men and you hate dating. And of course I don't think you lied, not even just now. I don't understand if somebody says that outfit details are in their bio or they like tag their whole outfit and then people in the comments are still asking like oh where's this from and like it's answered a few times like why people continue to comment asking where like it's from I just don't understand it's not that hard to figure out you just have to either like listen to what they're saying when they tell you to look in the caption maybe read the caption or if you're going to the comments to comment and ask, maybe it's been answered a hundred other times. Or you could say in your video where it's from. Why is she here in this video though? Well, two reasons. One for the thumbnails, cause you know, clickbait. And the other one for these two comments. This lovely lady here asking where's your shirt from? Cause she either didn't listen or didn't care. And this fellow man here spit in my mouth. I mean, no, I got nothing. I could try to come up with something, but I don't think I'll find a good enough reason to even try. I'm going to explain to you why being a stay-at-home girlfriend or stay-at-home wife is the dumbest thing you could do as a woman. I know it's currently glamorized on TikTok at the moment that it's amazing to have a provider man for you, looking after you, paying all the bills, and you can go to Pilates, drink your $7 matchas, and that's your existence for the rest of your days. However, here's a problem with this. If this man cheats on you, leaves you one day after 20 years of being married, finds the secretary more attractive than you and walks away from you, you get at least 50% of everything he owns and you get to keep the house. I'm just curious what 
happen. You ran out of clients. Your entire content, every single video you post is about you finding a provider, man, a man to pay your bills and a man to pay for your every needs. A man should never ask his woman to contribute financially in their relationship. She is absolutely correct. Not for any of the psychobabble bullshit that she's trying to say. I stopped listening. <laughs> but because the woman you want, you'll never have to ask her to split anything. She, she will just do it herself. Trust me. No, I do, because I know it to be true. But there she was. Selling her gold digging courses must have become difficult or something. Find yourself a provider man to pay for everything while you still have a job? What do you do with all your money if you're only spending mine? Or since you're making all that money, why do you still need to be a gold digger? Happy wife, happy life. Whoever said that should just be beaten to d If I hear one more person give that advice to somebody, I have to tell you, that is just the most ridiculous. What does that even mean? Happy wife, happy life. If she's happy, then I'm happy. Because it, is that I think, true? I think it, I, <laughs> I think it's used by men who believe that their wife is always unhappy. Mm. If she's not shouting at me and I yeah. can just sit here and watch the football, then all, all is well. Boy, is that something to aspire to? <laughs> Man, I can't wait, what, for some day for my kids to just sit there while the uh, person in the other room is just mildly dissatisfied with them and they can just sit and watch the football game. Really? That's, that's what we're aspiring to? That's what you hope for? That is by far the saddest existence you can have as a man or as a woman. Tiptoeing around the house just so your significant other doesn't get annoyed or angry. Even them watching you do that is gonna annoy them or make them angry. So the lawyer is right. That life should never be something to aspire to. Women choosing not to be with men, as they are increasingly doing, is not because they hate men. It's actually got very little to do with men at all. It's about them choosing to live their best lives. We're happy about it. We're not making a decision to spite men. No, you're not. And it's not you in increasing number. And I should know because for every single video like yours, I see at least a hundred with women crying that they can't find a partner or crying that men don't want relationships anymore. And as for all that happiness, hold on. Recent studies have come out to say that liberal, progressive white women are the most highly medicated, the most anxious and the most depressed. They're also the ones that are most likely to imbibe these, you know, progressive ideas about anti-marriage anti-child environmentalism you know save the planet kind of stuff and it's it's not working out well for them i'm looking for a tattooed gym guy funny six five brown eyes so if you know anyone i do in fact know one i'll tell him to hide for at least a week until you move on to something different The time I caught my ex-boyfriend lying for one year that he was jobless so he could not pay anything. Bills, dates, holidays, nothing. Story time. So 14 years ago, I came to the UK. God, that was ages ago. I was really young. Yeah, no kidding. You're about 30 now, so that means you were what? 14, 15, 16? Even let's say 18 for the sake of the argument. You moved to UK, you moved in with a guy, and you were together with him for one year and he was not paying for anything. I know you can lie better than this, so please get it together. Or maybe I should just appreciate you not giving this type of advice to people anymore. Let me read what she said. Hurt a man's ego. You will see his true colors and another character he is playing to get you. His reaction will show you if he is nice or if he's just a facade. His reaction, if you're doing that on purpose, will get you dumped. My girlfriend is ridiculous. Okay, so this is how much my girlfriend hates money. She bought a book called Meow, right? You would think like, oh, maybe it's a story about a cat or something, right? So she wants to read a story about a cat. You know what? No, that's not what this book is. This book, every single word in this book says meow. Every single page, the introduction, the, the, the everything is meow. 
Okay, so have her read it to you every single night until she finishes the book. It will be a pain for you too, but maybe, hopefully, she's gonna learn a thing or two about money. But anyway, this is gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.